Hey everyone, welcome to my world. This is an early morning summer vlog. I am getting up for the day. We're going to start doing things around the house. And I'm going to shower and have breakfast towards the end. And get ready for my day. Turning on the light. This is a nice silent video with just my voiceover. I'm going to adjust the fan so it's not in the way. Get things put away and the blanket folded. I'm moving rather slowly first thing this morning. I'm tired. I'm going to have some coffee. The coffee goes on by itself. I have it timed and it's now ready, luring me to the kitchen. I'm going to uh, see what it needs to be done in the kitchen. Not too much. I've been staying on top of all my chores because we're going away for a week on Saturday. And I thought I would do a summer vlog for you all to enjoy. This is my little gerbil, Azriella. She's sleeping it's very early this morning. Just a quick peek. Now we're going to pour some coffee in a moment. And it's finishing up with the bubbling and the brewing. And grab my mug. Not sure what happened to my other mug. It may be in the sink. Mine usually has a kitchen symbol on it. So I'll just use this orange one. It is from the Dollar Tree. They have top rated glassware there. Now we're going to put away the little bit of dishes. I'm going to grab all the utensils. And then put some things on the countertop. And put away the colander and the bowl. My back will be turned for you for the moment because the camera angle is hard. I'll be adjusting the camera angle throughout the video so you can see what I'm doing. First thing we're going to do is put away the utensils in my utensil drawer. I have the cooking ones as well as the ones that we eat with. I'm staying pretty organized since we have cleaned these two drawers. There is a clean with me players list for you to enjoy. Please check it out. At the end of the video, you'll see some prompts about giveaways, my email, and to subscribe. I really hope you enjoy my channel. I'm Suzanne Ridgeway. Let us eat. A mom of two and a wife of 21 years. We are so excited to go away next week. And it's going to be nice having a clean home to come to with all the deep cleaning I've been doing. We're going to turn our attention to the coffee pot now. And I'm going to get things put away over here with my Dutch oven. I like cleaning the kitchen first thing in the morning. Then I'll touch it up after breakfast. I can't eat right away. I've never been able to eat first thing in the morning. Once I've been up for a couple hours, I'm good to go with eating. Some of the background noise is going to stay in this video. Now I'm going to tackle these dishes. I'll put the water bottles away in the recycle bag. I keep that on on the back porch. That is now clean and organized. There is a video for you to enjoy a five-year clean-out of clutter. I've been trying to really hard to get rid of things I don't use. Even if I just bought it and I don't use it, I purge it or donate it. Just a few dishes in the sink. A couple of bowls and spoons. I don't see the mug in here. So I'll have to search my clean bedroom later. I did go in earlier this morning before I started recording everything and I didn't see it in there. So I hope it didn't break. It may have gotten put up in the cabinet. I haven't seen that mug at the Dollar Tree in a long time to replace it. I'm also looking for the world's greatest pot or coffee mug that we had. It cracked and I'd like to get a replacement mug of that one from the Dollar Tree. And I don't want to order online I don't want 24 mugs because they don't let you buy just one which is why I won't order from DollarTree.com because they make you buy a ridiculous amount I think that amount is one unit to them. Now we're going to take the other sponge and I'm going to turn the water off and we're going to scrub the sink then I'll rinse it out and wipe it down and we'll continue on with countertops. I'm going to use my LA Totally Awesome with Orange to deep clean the countertops and the stovetop today. Later this morning, I'll break down the coffee machine and get that cleaned up, which will not be included in this video. 
I'm going to turn the water back on once the soap is around the walls of the sink and the basin and as well as the drain and the food catchers and then we're going to rinse it then I'll grab a tea towel and wipe it clean I love the spray hose it's one of my favorite parts of the sink I don't mind washing dishes I don't like putting it away I hate holding laundry and I don't like putting away groceries shopping can be a pain too especially if you're at a big store and you have to walk from one end to the other it's tiring because you're walking about a quarter of a mile our walmarts are very large so we try to stick to just food on days that we go there i'm just going to touch up the side of this tiny part of the counter here before i grab my tea towel i use a couple of tea towels when i'm cleaning my kitchen that i let them hang dry and put them into the laundry basket Laundry is tomorrow, and we have free laundry on vacation, which I really like. So I'll be doing laundry every other day when we're over at the vacation village. So we can come home with clean laundry rather than bags of dirty laundry. I've already started pre-packing stuff that aren't needed for the next day or so. And then last minute stuff will be packed that morning, which is Saturday morning. Today is Thursday, by the way. This video is previously recorded. I'm touching up the microwave. We haven't been using it that much, but I like to clean it out every day. And I'm using the LA Totally Orange in it just to give it a little bit more of a deep clean than the hot, soapy water. Now we're going to focus on the stove top. I'm going to wipe down the front two burners and then inside of the oven with the same cleaning solution from the Dollar Tree. If you haven't tried it yet, pick it up. It is top rated, recommended by the some of the most famous of the YouTubers, like Catherine from Do It On The Dime. Big fan of the stuff. I'm a big fan of her. Check her out if you haven't seen her yet. Now we're going to go down to the stairs and feed the birds and the squirrel. I use the McDonald's cups rather than buying a $12 scoop to bring them to the birdhouses. And I noticed when we're out there, they're a little dirty. They're going to be coming in Saturday before we leave and I'm going to wash them. I don't want them out while we're gone because the squirrels will break them or maybe a passing bear or, or deer. They like to come up to the feeders. We get bear on occasion on this side of the village. The other side gets some more. This is more mountainous and more woods. I have a small train behind us and we get a lot of coyote, deer, fox, skunk, you name it. We're going to go to the side of the house where the bird feeder is. That is our red car. It is a Hyundai. We've had it for quite a while. We got it in 2016, I think. I heard the car noise. It was coming around the corner and it flew into the tree. It was the red one, the male. I'm going to put my selfie stick down so I can fill the feeder. The squirrel's on the fire hydrant. He took off. He was probably trying to get the seeds from the bird feeder and the carnal was mad at him. They like to steal from there. He, they dump them onto the ground, then they just don't eat the ones on the ground. They want the ones in the feeders, which is ridiculous because if they're on the ground, it's easier for you to get to. Why well, make yourself do a harder task than you have to? And that's how squirrels work. They're ingenious engineers and they can get into anything. And if it says squirrel proof, they're lying. Absolutely nothing is squirrel proof because I've tried everything. But I love my squirrel and I feed them. There comes the blue jay in a moment. I throw out the peanuts to them. One comes down, and then when I leave, they all come down. That is Screech. He's one of my oldest blue jays. And then we have a squirrel here under the car. He already has a peanut, and he's going to take off onto the deck. He knows I'm not going to hurt him, but he's still very shy. Now we're back upstairs. I'm going to pour some coffee. I'm going to put a little bit of creamer. And some sugar in it. I like it light and sweet. I usually have one to two cups. Not every day though, it all depends. And I'll grab a spoon and I'll mix it once the sugar's in it. And I like to cut my coffee with a little bit of water. It makes it kind of frothy and I love it. And I chug my coffee usually first thing. Especially since I've done some recording before my coffee. That's why it's a voiceover video with silent background. Because silence before coffee, no talkie. 
going to get the spoon and mix it a few times. I'll make sure there's no sugar on that part of the countertop. I had a couple ants in the past couple of days and they're annoying. I put chalk out because ants eat chalk. Now I'm going to grab a shower. I'm going to hang up my dress and put my towel down for easy grab. Get the light turned on. Get myself situated. I'm done with my shower. I'm wearing a dress today because I have to volunteer at the library. I'll be making smoothies as my channel for some young kids to enjoy. They get a story too. Now I'm going to assemble the basket for the deep fryer. I'm going to make some hash browns that we picked up at Walmart a couple of grocery hauls ago. Please check out our grocery hauls players list. Got it together. And I'm going to add some hash browns. My husband said he wanted one too. He doesn't eat a lot in the breakfast. I like to have eggs in the morning. I'm going to make a large omelet this morning. I'm going to get the frying pan on. I always start with high heat and I sprinkle a little bit of salt and then I spray it with some butter spray, which has got to go onto my BJ shopping list probably after vacation. I'll be bringing that with us so we can cook at the resort. Just going to spray it a couple times around. Crack three eggs into the frying pan. Let them sit for a few minutes until they solidify on one side. Then I'm going to add a slice of cheese, as you'll see in a minute. That's the first egg. And I'm going to whisk them right on the frying pan. It's easy to do, less cleanup, and you're not using a ton of dishes first thing in the morning. Not making you think. Sometimes the shell doesn't pick up from the big shell. The little trick. So I just grabbed it and got it out of there. I don't want to crunch on anything crunchy with my omelet. Grab in a third egg. We were gifted a dozen eggs and a gallon milk gift card for our stewards from the food pantry hall. And we have a food pantry hauls players list if you're addicted to those type of videos. Please check them out and we only get them once a month. That is what the law is in my part of New York State. And I'm only allowed to stay within my region. I'm going to put a little bit of black pepper, about two teaspoons. And I'm going to whisk them up with a fork. I usually use a fork. I turn the heat down to medium. Once it's whisked, I'm going to let them sit for a few minutes. And then we're going to get the hash browns in it to the deep fryer. I waited a couple minutes. Because it only takes two and a half minutes for the hash browns to cook in the deep fryer. We've had this deep fryer for quite a while. We deep clean it every two to three months and change the oil. Now that slice of cheese is on the eggs to make a nice cheesy omelet. I'm just going to lift up the sides to see if it's completely solidified all the way through. Lifting my egg up, it is not quite solid all the way through. And I like my eggs a little on the done side, as you'll see. Now the hash browns are done. I'm going to turn off the deep fryer. Just let them drip for a couple of seconds into the oil there. They're nice and golden brown. These are the Walmart ones. They're delicious. They remind me of the McDonald's ones, but better. I'm going to let them drain on some paper towels. These are the Bounty. We usually get them at our bulk store. BJ's. You can check those out in the grocery hauls. Players list the BJ's hauls. Now we're going to set up the omelet part. I'm going to get it flipped to one side. It's the perfect color that I like. And then I'm going to flip it over. We give away Dollar Tree gift cards. Make sure you subscribe. You must be a U.S. resident. If you're new, you must comment. Introduce yourself. So I can give away two different gift cards. That is my email if you have any questions. I'm putting the omelet on my plate. And then one of the hash browns. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.